A busy Saturday in the NFL, all capped off by a big AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. One of the big talking points is Tua Tagovailoa and his kind of erratic play over the last few weeks. We're joined by Tom, the Hitman, professional sports better. Tom, what's your take on Tua as they head to Orchard Park? His number has been adjusted, but I don't know if it's been adjusted enough. I like Tua under 236 and a half passing yards. The three lowest QBR games of Tua's entire career have come in bad weather games. So <laughs> I just, I, there's a lot of talk and a lot of narrative about that. He doesn't play as well in the bad weather, mm -hmm. but I think that it's true to be honest. He really doesn't have the arm strength and just the natural throwing ability, especially outside the numbers that correlate to a guy that's going to be really good in cold weather. A lot of mm -hmm. times that the guys that will do well in that are the guys with the rocket arms that can drive the ball in bad weather. And then we got to see in the past two weeks, the Chargers in San Francisco, the talk about did they put out a blueprint on stopping Tua? You have the fact that Jalen Waddell might not be 100%. Tyree mm -hmm. Kill might not be 100%. Teron Armstead might not be 100%. Jeff Wilson is not 100%. There's a lot of injuries right now for this Dolphins offense. And remember, they're playing a good Buffalo defense still. Maybe not as good as last year, but it's still a good defense. So I think the two uh, uh, under pass yards is the way to look in this one. Sure. Is it, how much of the weather is how much of that weather uh, plays into it? And then more, is it the chargers and what they did last week? We saw them last week, take away a lot of those underneath looks at that. that McDaniel likes to scheme up and really kind of force Tua to make some longer throws. It looked like he was kind of a bit out of his comfort zone there. How much of it is weather? How much of it is, is like you said, laying a blueprint down for slowing down this, this offense. Yeah, I mean, and you know what? The, the quotes that came out from them was, we need to start throwing the ball shorter with mm -hmm. Tua this week. So, obviously, I mean, throwing the ball shorter doesn't – the fact that you're going to have to go on these longer sustained drives and everything, and you're mm -hmm. probably not going to get the chunk plays that you're used to, it affects somebody's pass yards for sure. So that on top of the weather, which, again, it could be bad – or it could be really bad, and it's a little bit of a free roll. If it's really bad, then we're probably going to be we're going to be probably feeling pretty good at, during this game. All right. So the hitman says, bundle up to a tag of Aloha. You're going to have an under day. Go under your 236 and a half yards receiving prop, heading to Buffalo for Saturday night, week 15. 